So this is the graphical representation of what we just talked about. First of all, we can take a look. This is the um, the end, the end of the uh, limb, limb cap capillary, limb lymphatic cap capillary. You can see that it has an end, and the body fluid can go into the lymphatic capillary uh, because there is actually a physical opening in at the end of the lymphatic capillaries, and um, so it acts like uh, you may assume that it acts like a root of an uh, plant that can absorb excess uh, body fluid and for uh, blood capillary they don't have this kind of uh, end um, it's a, uh, blood capillary is a continuation of all the uh, blood vessels and then lymphatic capillary they will converge and they also have one way valve here I'll show you that one way valve um, so that it, the valve will only open in, uh, in one direction and then uh, the conversion of all the of lymphatic capillary will become lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels will bring the lymph uh, the filter body fluid into something called lymph nodes lymph nodes is where a lot of um, immune uh, action uh, occur a lot of lymphocytes, they, uh, they battle, they fight the infections in the lymph nodes. Um, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that also later. Lymph nodes, they also have the blood supply in the lymph nodes. Lymphoid organ, uh, as I mentioned that there are two types. Um, First of all, lymphocyte is, I told you, is one of the five types of the white blood cell. Um, adaptive immunity, uh, it is talking about the formation of uh, antibody. So after we get an infection, um, uh, for example, if you have a flu, and uh, after you get the flu, then you will be immune to that uh, particular strain of the flu virus because your body develops an immunity to that uh, flu virus to that string of particular string of the flu virus and we call this adaptive immunity and then uh, we have two types of lymphoid primary and secondary I briefly talk about this uh, in in the uh, digestive system lecture we'll go into uh, detail Okay, the primary lymphoid organ, they are mainly the uh, bone marrow and thymus. Bone marrow and thymus. Um, what is that? Uh, bone marrow is where we make all the lymphocytes. All the uh, basically most of the actually most of the blood cell get made in the bone marrow, and then uh, thymus. It is uh, for one particular lymphocyte, we call it T lymphocyte, or, or simply T cell. T cell they are made in bone marrow, mature in thymus. And then another cell called B lymphocyte, or B cells, they are made in bone marrow and mature in bone marrow. Secondary lymphoid organ, it is where the lymphocyte are uh, activated, for example, spleen, lymph node, or tonsil. Um, all these are because secondary lymphoid organ because they are part of the lymph, uh, lymphatic system, but uh, it is not where, it is not uh, bone marrow and thymus. So as long as they are not bone marrow and thymus, then we call them secondary uh, uh, lymphoid organ. So thymus and uh, bone marrow, they are the primary, and then lymph node and spleen, they are the secondary. Uh, let me repeat, one of the function of the uh, spleen is, other than it has the lymph, uh, lymphatic function, uh, where the uh, lymphocyte uh, uh, will go there to fight infection, uh, another function of spleen is to break down old red blood cell 
Rapper cell again, it has um, um, well, let me ask you a question. How, what is the lifespan of a normal Rapper cell? Usually on average. Usually on average, what is the lifespan of a Rapper cell? Um, I'll tell you this answer in the next video. Um, so spleen and also and also liver. Spleen and liver, they are the organ that can break down whole Rapper cell. The spleen is a lymphoid organ because the uh, lymphocyte they will go there to uh, battle or fight the infection. So bone marrow, red bone marrow. Uh, the reason we have to specify red because there is uh, another type of bone marrow we call it yellow bone marrow. Yellow bone marrow you can. Uh, Usually see it in the long bone, long bone like like the, your your thigh femur or you know uh, 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 humerus. These are called long bone. We the yellow bone marrow it is for storing of uh, body fat, but red bone marrow they are for making a rubber cell and also they are making a lymphocyte. So uh, the stem cell they they make a white blood cell. And also uh, lymphocyte. Lymphocyte part is one type of white blood cell. So blood um, go through the go can go into the bloodstream, the blood vessels uh, through the sinuses in the bone. And we have B cell and T cell, or the official name should be called B lymphocytes or T lymphocytes. But we just simplify it into B cells and T cells. They remain mature in the bone marrow. So they are made in the bone marrow, mature in the bone marrow. T cell are made in bone marrow and then mature in thymus. Therefore T goes with T and B goes with uh, B bone marrow. So um, B cell made in and mature in bone marrow. Uh, T cell made in bone marrow mature in uh, thymus. So thymus is located uh, here uh, between your trachea and your sternum. Um, usually um, the thymus is not um, is not do not mix up thymus with thyroid. Thyroid is here on on top of on, on the surface of your larynx. Thymus is here. But thymus in adult they uh, they degenerate a lot. Yeah, in 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 young in young newborn thymus is very active. It is say T cell mature in thymus, and then um, a T cell. Uh, one of the function of T cell is to tell. Uh, cell from non-cell basically is to identify what is your own body cell or what is a foreign invader and then apoptosis uh, in our level we can assume apoptosis is the same as programmed cell death but if you are in graduate school or research level uh, researcher uh, people will tell you that they are two different uh, they're different they're two different um, uh, uh, process apoptosis and program cell are two different process but at our level you can assume that apoptosis is uh, is the same as a uh, program cell death so um, lymphocyte migrate from from the blood into the um, uh, secondary lymphoid organ and then um, they may account for a molecule like the uh, uh, microbes, bacteria, virus, and then um, when they account the foreign material, they will proliferate and become activated. Proliferate is like they will multiply, they clone themselves, so that they will have enough number to fight the infection, and then. After they multiply and activate it, then they will start to mobilize to uh, go to the infection site or the inflammation site. 
to find the interaction. Spleen, upper left, so it is around here. It is around here, and then it has red pup and white pup. So inside the spleen, we have uh, um, two different regions. In some regions, some of the region we call red pup, some of the region we call white pup, because uh, in the red, red pup, it is where the red blood cell is being uh, broken down, the old red blood cell. The white pup is the, where the um, lymphocyte they uh, fight with the foreign invaders. Another secondary lymphoid organ, we call it lymph node. Lymph nodes, they are oval structure along the lymphatic vessels. Uh, some of the lymph nodes you can find is uh, on your neck and also uh, in, in, in your armpit. So, um, how many of you, oh, let me answer the question from last video. Um, last video I asked you, no, 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 next video, okay. So, how many of you have had this experience when you have a high fever? You will actually uh, have you can see the swelling of the lymph node. Yeah, the reason the swelling, swelling of the lymph node because um, your lymphocytes, are your white blood cell, they kill a lot of the um, uh, virus or bacteria, and then a lot of lymphocytes they also die during the battle, and then all these uh, dead cells they accumulated in the lymph node, and that's why they swell. And also um, for the armpit, if your lymph node in the armpit swell, that's not a good sign, because especially for the for women, if women's uh, lymph node in the armpit swell, uh, you better go to see a doctor immediately because it may be a sign that you you have breast cancer, and the cancer cell from your breast uh, um, migrate to the uh, to your armpit already. So um. Uh, make sure that uh, do your annual uh, exam for, for the female student, do your annual exam or uh, check your armpit uh, regularly. And then, um, so, connective tissue divide into nodules, so they have a uh, lot of B cell and T cell the lymph nodes. Um, so lymph nodes, the nodule, they have a lot of B cell and T cell. It is where the um, uh, the battle occurs. And then a lot of, I told you, debris, the virus bacteria in the lymph they are removed. So now we finished the lymphatic system, we are going to start with the immune system.